Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today, today this could be a, <laughs> this could be a, this could go very wrong uh, because I'm just going to record this review on the fly, if you like. Normally I record it with this camera, the 4K one, and I, I edit out all the waffling and bullshit and, and just keep it, yeah, short and concise. But today, today I'm just going to do a winner. I'm just going to go right through it and, and see how it goes. So, um, yeah, you can always use the fast forward button or just skip to whatever bit you want to watch. But this is going to be for the Psych by Cyclone Mods. It's a bridge. It's an RBA. I call it a bridge. This is an RBA for your borrow tank to go in your borrow mod. And um, it's the key thing for this one is that... Um, Remember the, the Hadley and the Citadel? Well, the deck in this is basically, they've taken the Citadel and they've shrunk it and they've put it into an RBA. So, uh, we're just gonna crack straight into this, get a coil in it and let you know how I've got on. So, here we go. This is what arrived from me. Uh, arrived from me? Arrived for me. Uh, I do actually have a price for this. What was it? I think it's about 125 euros this comes in at. Uh, that was Phileas Cloud I saw that price on, but um, anyway, here we go. Comes in this little tin, like that. You open it up, and you're going to get this, and you're going to get a baggie of spares, a couple of tiny little Allen keys. The, the grub screws in here are the 0 0.9. Uh, as always, as, as as I do tend to say these days, if I was you, I'd go out and invest in, you know, a, a, a half decent set of things like this rather than relying on these little Allen keys because they're, they're never the best. Um, as far as it goes for the air pins on this, you are looking at a 1.2, a 1.8, a 2.5 and a 3 millimeter air pin. That's what you get with it. Um, to be fair, you're looking at a loose mouth lung, restricted direct lung, and a direct lung. But uh, we'll put this to one side. Uh, you're going to get uh, an OBD wrap, or ODB wrap, for some reason, that comes in here. Uh, you're going to get, I struggle getting this out of here, bear with me. You're going to get one deck, and once again, you can see, uh, for those of you that remember the Citadel, that's it's, it's essentially what this is. It's extremely easy to put a coil in this and wick it, and I, I, I really do not have any hassles with getting this going. So there we go. Here's your deck. Uh, if you want to change out the airflow, uh, hang on while I find a, a, a doodah. There's a doodah. Any screwdriver or anything like that will do. You can just back your ear pin off like this. Pop in your new one, and away you go. The only thing I would say is just double checking. Yeah, you can see there that um, with changing the ear pin out, and yes, I washed this, but I forgot to clean in there. Um, yeah, you can see that your your positive post is loose, so it does. You can change it on the fly, but me personally, I would suggest like keeping your finger on the coil like that on the positive and negative post when you're changing the pin out. Uh, and yeah, it just makes sure that nothing goes awry. Uh, but I'm just going to leave the, the largest pin in there just now. Uh, we do get this. Like you see inside here. Excuse me if that's a little bit dirty, but I have been using this an awful lot. And see, here we go. There's, that's I don't know if you can hear that. That's a plane going overhead. You're going to hear lots of things during this video. But we have Psych written on the front here. Your size of your wicking hole, and that's that. One thing I do really like, and uh, I'll just get these out of here, is you get two chimneys with this, um, which is something I haven't really seen with anything else. Uh, and I will get my uh, my calipers or calipers out. Let's get that zeroed off. So uh, you can see we have two bores here. So you're usually about 4.5. It's usually about four, is it? You'll remember, you guys will probably know better than I do. Is it about 4.5? 4.17 for this. So usually about the 4.2, which is not far off what we normally have for chimneys and these things. Uh, but you also get a narrow bore one as well. So if you're going for the tighter draw, that's only 3.4 for the 
for the bore on this one. So if you're going for, and, and, and I've found this actually works quite well with a restricted direct lung. You know, going for, you know, if, if just say the 2.5 uh, and using this instead of this. Um, it, yeah, it just, for a draw, it just works well for me. But for this build, we're just going to go for the beefier, the beefier selection. So just take this off of here. And I should say that that just fits in there and it's held in by an O-ring like so. And you can see that you've got the two different designs going on as well. Quite swish swoo. But then uh, we'll pop this to one side just now. Pop that out of the way. Uh, got my deck and you can see that it does come. It's 510 threaded, which is always a good thing because you can just slap it onto your build tab and you're just going to fire a coil straight in there and it helps if you don't cross thread it. There we go. Get in there. You can do it. Trust me, I'm a professional. Said me, never. Uh, right, down with that. Uh, let's get these calipers out the way and we'll find ourselves a coil. Uh, I'm going to use a, a 2.5 ID, a 0.36 ohm. And, and this is a full NI80 and it's by PC Coils and it's my one of Benchmark V2s that I use. So let's pop that out of the way. I need to find a coiling rod and obviously I don't have anything set up for this because why would I? Um, pop this out of the way, bend this leg round. Now you know yourself that uh, because you've got the four posts going on there it just makes it so easy to set this up. There's no faffing about or anything. Uh, and once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but you really do want something decent for this. Uh, I will say is that uh, one of the posts will be open and one of the posts is closed. So you can hopefully see here, see how one's open-ended and one's closed and it's the same on the other side. So what I tend to do is with my coil here, I'm just going to bend my leg up like that. And that just means that I can thread that one in through there. And this is just going to fold round the side and just traps in there no problem. So, right, let's get this done. Uh, I apologise if I uh, disappear out of sight here. I've just realised that this tool that I've got here is really, really large. Uh, so get that and get that. You will get a big coil in here, by the way. I mean, that's a 2.5, and you will get a 3mm complex coil in there. Uh, and I'm just going to drop this down. I want it a bit closer to the air hole. Obviously, as you already know, closer to the air hole, less throat hit. Higher means you're going to get more throat hit. Uh, find myself a snippy-poo here. Pop that off. There we go. Make sure you get all of that out of there you don't want it making contact with the side at all and i actually think that i've may have cocked this one up why is it when i'm wanting to do things in a hurry that i always end up cocking them up get ye there we go um so right what's this reading 0.22 so I'm obviously needing to fire this to get the hot spots out and get the old wattage up a bit bear with me strum 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 and again that's the one there she goes right find myself a little bit of hot sauce and we'll pop that on this is uh, Jedi's Punk RMVC, my daily custard. And what do I need now? Cotton. <laughs> I, need, I need cotton. Um, right. Cotton drawer, get some Cloud9. Uh, we'll just get some of this out here. There we go. Uh, fold this over. I'm cheating a little bit here, but bear with me. Uh, this this is once again super super easy to put a build in. Just pull that through there, and then you're going to grab your chimney. Uh, actually, I'm going to pop some juice on this. Just 
first just round here just in case I push the fire button by mistake which I normally do and then grab this and then just pop it over the top push it down and you can see what I've got going on there uh, then grab my scissors and just I'm cutting it just not right up against it uh, if you're going for a mouth to lung build maybe leave the cotton a little bit longer than that uh, what I like to do and, and it, obviously everybody's going to be different is um, make sure I've got this the right way I kind of like to push my cotton back in just a tiny little bit maybe not so much with the, the mouth to lung and then just make sure that the, the outside is just fluffed out a little bit you know so it's just going to promote wicking uh, but I always push it back in a little bit first so pop that back in a little bit she goes and then she's just like that on the outside uh, right so uh, I'm going to get this off of here like so uh, and uh, as always um, and, and I know everybody's different in what they like to use these days but um, get away cotton get away uh, I like using my vape snail or the, the limelight tanks uh, I, I just I never use the old style borrow tanks anymore I just find them a pain in the ass to work with to be honest um, and then just going to take this and then just pop it on here there we go. Uh, make sure I get that in there. And that's me. Boom. Done. I just need to fill it with some juice now. Pop that in there. And you're, you're going to get about four and a half millijuice. You know, the usual. Um, I need a bottle mod now. There you bottom mod, and I think I'm going to use this. Is what's up for review next? Is the the armor mods uh, C4? I need a battery. Let's pop that in there. Tighten that down. Uh, take that off of there. Pop this in here. I need a drip tip, a hybrid drip tip, which hopefully hasn't been covered in lit gunk uh, and there we are that's that's firing away right no that's no. it we're uh, firing away right uh that's the the down the down and dirty section done so we can go back up here and i can uh, go whew, close one right i can get there are some borrow tanks out there and, and bridges and RBAs and so on and so forth that you can get like four, four and a half mil and, and it's and it's almost like a full on direct lung. This is that's obviously this is a brand new coil and brand new cotton. Um it's not the most open one I've ever come. It's a three mil, and if you've ever had a three mil air pin before, it's exactly like a three mil air pin. Um, obviously, you can take it down to a one point two, which is for me, it's it feels closer to a one, but it's definitely on the looser side of mouth to lung. Um, and obviously, you want to go with that tight chimney. I, to be fair, I would say with the one point two pin, with a tighter chimney, and with a a small bore mouth to lung drip tip it will probably feel like a one but it will never be anywhere like a 0 0.8 never will it feel like that uh, I have not had one wicking issue with this I've no problem putting builds into it um the chimney stays in place um it, it, it's been pretty much flawless since i've got it uh the only thing as as always as i would say is um 
get yourself decent tools. I mean, this the, the this set is 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 dirt cheap. I think it's like eight or ten pounds from Amazon. And you get a whole pile of them, um, or go for the more expensive set. But get yourself decent tools. Don't rely on the little Allen keys for the zero point nines because they're nine out of ten times they're absolute gash and they just yeah they'll just round out on you. But um. <sighs> A hundred and did I say thirty euros? I'm not sure if anybody sells it in the UK. Uh, I've I don't actually check to be fair, um, but um, yeah, it's I like it. It's up there with my I would um I would yeah I would consider buying this again if I lost it or had to give it away for whatever reason, and yeah I would put it. Up there with my Cloud RBA, which is, is possibly one of the best compliments I can give it. I just like the deck, the fact that, you know, you're not restricted in the direction of the wrap of your coils. Please, if you're going for mouth to lung, you're going to need more cotton. Uh, you're going to need a little bit more cotton. Um, just leave longer tails and maybe pack it, especially if you're going for like a 50-50 a kind of juice, uh, because they, they are quite large wicking holes on the side of this thing. Um, but yeah, complex coils, you'll get in there no problem. You'll get large complex coils in there. And remember, if you want a more throat hit, get the coil a little bit higher. If you're taking the coil higher, make sure you put your chimney back on top before you do anything else and fire it and make sure that the coil is not going to short out. Don't do what I did and just throw it all back together and then find out that you may have a short, which is never a good thing. But um that's it for the Psyche by Cyclone Mods. Um, def, I'm, I was going to apologise for doing the, the video slight a, a lazier version of a review. There's no editing for me to take place here or anything like that. It's just like a, an off-the-cuff type review. Uh, you might not think there's any difference, but for me there's a world of difference. I don't have to do quite nearly as much work as I normally do for this. Uh, but... Um, Go watch other reviews, as always, before you make a purchase and uh, see what everybody else is saying. But until next time, bye for now.